Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Plus, let's play a run as Samson. We're going to be doing a normal one. Take a quick episode or so break from doing some challenge. And I'm immediately bungled. Or am I being strategic? Because we are Samson. So getting hit is not that big of a deal all in all. I mean, we're going to get some damage and it's the first floor. His damage does just stays for the only like only the floor he's on though, right? So you know what? It doesn't really matter. If we leave this floor with full health, there's no deal with the devil we're losing. All we lose is a little bit of pride, and let me tell you, I don't have a lot of that anyways. We're all gonna be good. We're gonna be fine. Samson? What do I think of the man? I don't really know. I feel like I don't know a lot about him. I think what what does he have? I think he has like decent damage no like I think his damage is maybe only like okay but the thing is it scales up let's go get this key let's go get that chest Bop. and a little bit of money okay we take that but what do I want as Samson I mean like is, basically what I'm getting at is is there a way where we can break the game with Samson? I believe that basically what we're looking at is some kind of way where we could get like Nun's Habit and maybe like a healing item. We could maybe cheese the game where we could like get really, really high, uh, like a really, really high damage stat without actually losing, losing health, like without losing the red health tied to the damage. Oh boy. We could maybe effectively cheese things out that way. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know off the top of my head much about the man, but he gets stronger with damage, and he seems to be like okay otherwise. Like just, I don't know. I it, I don't know enough about the characters. Ooh, the way the characters feel to be able to tell them apart immediately. But he doesn't seem to have any inherent obvious flaws. Like the flaws he has seem like they're just. Oh, chocolate milk. That's an interesting one. Well, so we can tap shot this, or we can fully charge a shot. So I think that we're in a scenario where tap shooting. I don't know. It might, it might do more damage, but it's like Mega Man or whatever, where if you, you know, you don't see an enemy yet, you charge up your shot. I think that's the gist of it. I could be completely off base there, but we'll we'll look it up in the uh, the loading screen. Honestly, it might be worth it to buy a bomb. Might be worth it. First things first, let's fight the boss. Yeah, we want to definitely do our little tap shoot when it comes to flies, right? And you know what? No, I'm really noticing it doesn't do a lot of damage. Doesn't take too much uh, charge to get the flies though. Hui, hui. I might not even need to look it up. I might be able to just immediately tell that. Tap shooting. At the very least, it hurts my wrists real bad. Charge shot seems to be the way to go. Boop. Okay. We are leaving the floor with full health. I think that's... Nah, let's get a bomb. Let's get one bomb. Having zero bombs sucks. Like, there's a difference between going from one bomb to two bombs and going from zero bombs to one bomb. Having the option of a bomb is, is worth five cents. If we already had a bomb, I would not pay five cents to get another one. At least at this moment. Is that a stupid choice? I, uh, I don't know. That's just that's my personal philosophy. Well, there's a bomb anyways. Because you might be presented with an insanely valuable bomb situation. And having no bomb is awful. I know what you're saying, maybe. But what if there's two situations that are insanely valuable? Well, I don't want to think that far ahead. I, I like to think exactly one step ahead. Anything more like that and you're, you're not living in the moment, you know? Right? 
Let's get philo philosophical. Philosophical. Falafel. Let's get some falafel. Whoop! Anywho. We got our item room. Got a key. That's the other thing. Is keys are... Oh, boo! The game kit. You know what? We take those. Is this the most valuable way to use this? Maybe not. Or maybe it's outrageously valuable. We got a permanent health up. And I, I could have sworn. Aye, aye, aye. Aye. We got to deal with the devil on the line. We have a lot of red hearts, so we got to try to get some armor. Pronta. We will go in here, because if there's a soul heart... Let's do this. So. I'm going to leave. One more bomb. Give me that soul heart, please. Down to five cents. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. Should we just fight the boss, then? Oh, no, we should have bought a battery. Oh, there's no way we're going to deal with the devil from this. This room is so stupid. Can we, can, like, am I, I feel like this is not just a, like, a, bad, I'm bad at the game, get good. I feel like it's, you should not have a room where the enemies can take, a, like, if they're in the middle, you get hit going above or below them. I feel like that's, oh, pentagram, that's amazing. I feel like that is bad, a poorly designed room. Am I, am I insane for thinking that? I feel like, I know there was a lot of issue. people had a lot of issues with Afterbirth Plus's um, concept of, like, difficulty scaling and stuff like that. And I feel like that is might be an obvious sign of it. I don't know if I want to blow two keys on that, especially in a on a blind floor where we might be blowing it on nothing. All right. Give me something. Good. Excellent. Give me something. Hey, I'll take it. I, I'm not angry about that one. Next. We're slowly scaling up. Like we're, we're in a, we have a respectable, respectable set of stats right now. We still have our you wizard. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Hup, hup, hup. Left. Right. Left. Right. Yes. No. Okay, we got it back. Good. I, I, honestly, I didn't think that Are You a Wizard would follow you down to the next floor. Can we tap shoot these now? Yeah, we basically can. Huh. I just like, I, I like the concept of those, but until I get better, I don't know. I feel like I can't take things that are going to hinder me. Like, yeah, I can take some fun stuff, but we haven't reached that gungeon point where we can like actively take things that are not good per se, but just like wonky. Like things that might trip me up. I can't can't do those yet in Isaac. Gotta get back in the swing of things. It's crazy how many hours I have in this game and like how it's just so it's so sorted out, it's so spaced out that I never I never get amazing at the game. Like for how many hours I have, which is something insane, like 200, 300. Which is nothing in Isaac world. In Isaac world, I'm a I'm still a fledgling. Whoop. Whoop. But like I said, I just, I don't know, I play for a little, a little bit every five months. I don't know. So the skill doesn't stick. It's like if I picked up a guitar maybe like three times a year to learn a song and then got upset when I tried to play it for somebody and I didn't do very well. It wouldn't make sense. 
it's unrealistic expectations to assume that my skills just immediately stay. Okay. There's some games where it never goes away. Oh. And there's some aspects that definitely stay, but I don't know what this is. Shard of glass. I do know what this is. Doesn't it do like a big blast shot every once in a while? Maybe it doesn't work in this room. I know there's some some act or uh, passive items that just don't activate if you're not in a room that has enemies. Oh, if I could get flying, that'd be a valuable room. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this one does like a does like a blast, like a monstro's lung-esque shot. Haven't seen it happen yet. Okay. Well, I mean, it, with the hits at least, we're getting the damage. That's, you know, it's something. It's, it's not literally nothing. <laughs> That's what I'll say about that. Is it could literally be worse. Nope. All right, we could search in a handful of spots here. Or we could just fight the boss, see what happens here. Finally, we're gonna actually use the game kit on the boss. Uh, it's, you know, it's not amazing. Perfect the boss, perfect the boss, perfect the boss, perfect the boss. What's the difference between Game Kid and the Unicorn Horn? No! Yes! Get him again! We were so close. He set up an unblockable. I mean, that's literally false. Okay, I'm getting a little annoyed with these health ups now. I was happy about them at first, but now they're getting uh, to be a little bit overbearing. Okay, so there can't be a secret room there. I'm thinking... Off to the right here. Okay. Well, that'll do that for me. There's the car battery in this shop. I don't think we care enough about that. Honestly, I just want... I want to protect myself. Finally, please. Pull the boy up. The poop is moving. I think it's like poop can give us followers now. Like little... Has a chance to give us a fly. Oh! Or it always gives us a fly. That's a big deal. Because our damage is actually not bad. It's just that we have to charge up. So situations like this where you have like... Uh, a high damage, low fire rate. Flies are really valuable because they scale off of your damage stat. And it doesn't matter what your fire rate is to them. They don't care. So they're gonna actually be doing some decent damage. Now we have a little bit of protection. I think this is the floor where we come into our own. Oh! Mm. Great. Great stuff. I did that wrong. We could have done it in one go with the mushroom, couldn't we? All right. Ah! All right, well, we're back to being uh, completely unshielded. Unshielded, boy. Slowly but surely. Okay, well, we can be really free with our... Shoot. Game kit! Ha! Ah. Whip it out! Whoop! Ha! Whip! There we go. Good deal. Good deal. This should be... Brittle bones. Everything hurts. Oh! Uh-oh. Maybe... Maybe... Good? So we have bone hearts now. All bone hearts. And we have... Oh, 
Ooh. That seems like a good purchase. You're buying three for the price of one. Okay, Chariot. Let's take this into, like, the boss. Chariot plus Game Kid means... I'm gonna be relatively invincible for quite a while. So we want to be really careful. Because we will permanently lose our hearts. If we get hit right now. Like, in fact, it's so scary that it might be worth it to... Purchase Red Heart from the shop. We need to start getting that health back. What a scary item. I mean, like, here's the thing. If we can get all of our health back, this might be nice. As it stands right now, it's terrifying. Get the man. Get the man. The ball, man. You know what? Like, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes right here to just kind of explore and see what kind of health options we can gather up. Get out of here. All right, so we've, we've locked in two and a half of our hearts right now. Oh, this is such a big ask, but I'll do it. Sure. I can see forever. Okay. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Just gotta add an outrageous amount of pressure. That's all. Pretty fly. That's amazing. We love those. Oy! Help. Okay, cool. We one shot bop these boys. Good. Okay. No! No! <laughs> Good deal. Oh, this is the most stressful uh, situation I've ever been in where we've had like full health. Okay, so that probably protects our hearts a bit, doesn't it? You know what? Let's uh, let's bop the boss then. We have a couple ways to use to get to invincibility. Nope, we used the chariot card. Or we dropped it? We dropped it. Yay! Okay, when do I want to use a game kit? When I'm scared. I'm not scared yet. Gertie doesn't really scare me. I'll use it if I feel like I'm in a nasty situation. Like, I'll save it for if I feel overwhelmed here, because right now, honestly, this is one of the bosses that I'm most confident with being able to bop. At, at the very least, when the, when it's the room layout that doesn't have any anything blocking you, I just don't find it to be that scary. I would rather save my spacebar item for, uh, do we want the deal from like the contract from below like now that we I just realized yeah we sacrifice our heart containers we have to sacrifice three of them that's outrageous now that we finally got a deal with the devil I don't know that I want one neither of those are exciting enough to sacrifice all my health like almost all my health Half my health. Okay, let's be real. So I guess we're gonna go with the deal with the angel type path. Here's the thing. We're like, oh, we're getting to the point where there's not very many. There's a little man. Oh, that, not that many deals left. Okay, well we haven't lost any of our bone hearts yet, so that's amazing. Sure. What is this? You feel her love. My guess is something related to red hearts. I have the wiki pulled up here. Well held, you heal for half a red heart every time you use a key to open a door or golden chest. Changes all half red hearts into full red hearts. Hubba bubba. So, even the ones like on the floor? My guess would be no. Actually, yes! That's wild. X lax pretty fly. Yup. Oh, baby. Things are coming up, Samson. How do I get this? There's no way to get this. It's in the current form. I would need some kind of flight. 
All right, is there any key lock to anything so we can get healed? Not that it's as important now with the balls of steel. I feel a lot less, a lot less spooked. I don't even open my mouth anymore. Or wait, I thought, yeah, you open your mouth with the chocolate milk, don't you? I drink it with my mouth. Man, I could go for some chocolate milk. I haven't had any in years. What is this social construct that says adults aren't supposed to have chocolate milk? What is it? Health? Get over yourself. World. That's not, I mean, that's very true. It's, it's definitely health. That's why, I, that's why I don't. I can see forever. Let's hit the next floor. Feeling a little bit better. You know what? Let's maybe try to fish out another like pretty fly or something. Had a decent amount of bombs and a, not a whole lot of luck there. Okay, so this is actually still open if we wanted to. Do we want contract from below? That's like, I mean, little brimstone is really good too. And we're charging our shots anyways. Fine. We charge up at about the same time. So, you know what? Okay. Saul Good. Saul Goodman. Whoop. I mean, kind of like, it doesn't force us to do our fully charged shot, but it makes it feel like we're supposed to. But yeah, he does like just as much or more damage than I do. So maybe, maybe it's a great choice. How do we get this effectively? There's, there's a good way to do this. And I feel like putting it here wouldn't work. Let's just, for education's sake. It did, it did, it did. All right, we good. You know what, this is probably worth it, too. Oh, we get healed for the keys, that's right! That's pretty handy. Especially because it uh, does the all half hearts turn into full hearts thing, too, as well. Uh-oh. Considering our situation, I'm pretty pleased. As soon as- boom! Wait, oh! Okay, I was- I, I completely did not understand Bone Hearts anymore for, for just a second there. Question everything. Ha! Ah! Tap, tap, tap. I would like a little bit of, a little bit of health to guard ourselves as well. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. I forgot. Bone Hearts act as, like, Spirit Hearts. Don't they? Soul hearts. Huh. Sumi. Uh, Sumi hearts. Oh, boys. Oh, jeez. Come on. We find our. No, we haven't found our item room on this floor yet. Ah. No. Oh. Little brimstone. He's a banger. I forgot how, how valuable he is. He's like, you see him, you see he's a familiar, you go like, okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> is that, is that a full sentence? Like he seems fine, just when I look at him, but when I use him, he's just, he's ridiculously good. He, he does enough damage to make up for whatever bad damage you might be doing. Is this worth it? Two keys in the... I know the logical thing to do would be to wait and see if we... It was worth it. We got damage up. Wait and see if we needed some kind of health. Apparently this isn't even bad. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Everybody's telling me I hate the beans too much. I My bean hate is unwarranted. Whoop. 
What does it do? Let's just let's wait. I, I have a feeling it's an AOE thing, so let's try to gather up some some brave souls to get to to the pond. Okay, so it's a AOE poison and a stun. I mean, that's you know what? I value that. I see the value in you. Three room charge for it. I mean. Seems fine. Boomerang, I actually remember being pretty good in this. But we're just gonna do that. For now. We're gonna we're gonna give some love to the Gigatoot. I mean the stun alone is fairly valuable. Oh. It's, it's something that if it was an every room item, it would be ridiculous. Hey! Okay, well, we have a lot of hearts sitting around, so I guess I can't be that. Man, this room is awful. Oh, baby. There's a little, ah! Oh. Why are we dropping hearts when we get hit? What is that from? Is that from? That can't be. That's not from Blood Bag, is it? What is that? I'm so confused. I like it, but I don't get it. Uh oh. Wish we had our thing saved up here. Great situation to have the beam boy. Uh-oh. No! Easy enough. Let's go to the next. I feel like we're missing something. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm supposed to go pick up the boomerang, but I don't feel like it. Good stuff in there, right? Right? Pretty fly. I can see forever too. Let's pop that. I mean, that was. I know we didn't just get that, but we didn't use it on the entire last floor there. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh oh. Oh oh. Uh oh. Fancy feet. Fancy feet. Let's try something. Trying to figure out why we spit out the heart. Don't really want to do this. How do you? Are you supposed to bait it out first? That's my guess. All right, I'm scared now. I am error. I mean, we could skip it to mom fight. I don't think I want to. Oh boy. Yeah, yo, oh. So you are supposed to bait it out. That is the correct thing to do, it seems. Good to know. I don't know, like, do we want to skip the floor? I, I can't remember, we haven't... Here's my C, by the way. We have cleared the heart, so I... I don't know. It's not the dumbest idea in the world, but... We would lose the negative, which wouldn't really matter. I don't know, like... <laughs> should we... Maybe we should skip it, we don't need to... Well, wait, 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 wait. We're not even skipping the heart anyways. This is mom. Basically, the thing is, do we care about the negative? Does the negative do anything besides be the negative? Negative. What do you do? 
damages all enemies in the room when for 40 damage when hit down to half a heart remaining. That doesn't... I... Whatever. That's like... Unless you have a run where you can cheese that, it doesn't sound very important. Maybe we will skip it. Not go through the fight. The possibility of losing some hearts. But I definitely want the item room. I don't like them. Don't like them. Uh oh. Heart. I want that, but I'm not gonna put myself in danger for it. There we go. Butamus. It'd be fun if we could, like, charge up our normal shot. I don't need keys that bad. That's the, the flat many gives you keys when you pick up pennies. Small chance to give you keys when you pick up a penny. Go! We take that. All right, now we leave. How about that? We're not gonna get... Oh, you know what? There's a reason to stay, and it's called a deal with the angel. We have a 72... 0.5 chance to get a deal with the angel. So basically, I'm I'm taking a bet that I will. Whoa. Oh, thought that would stun. I'm not gonna take three hits here. That's like that's my bet. Whatever I get potentially can get from the deal with the angel is gonna be better than oh, my chance to not get hit three times. I feel like I'm comparing two statistics that don't make a lot of sense to compare there, but you know what I'm saying? I think it's worth the risk for the potential reward, even if we we might not even get the chance. Gotta deal with the devil. That makes sense, because we took a deal with the devil item. What is that monstrosity? What the hell? What do I even look for? Chest? Satanic? Terrifying? Bloody box? Casket? Coffin? I mean, search devil room. I know you can search by, by that. It's And it's got to be something new, right? Sacrificial altar. When used, this item will spawn two of your familiars. Sacrifice up to two of your familiars and spawn any dev a random devil room item for each familiar sacrifice. In addition to familiars, any blue flies will be converted into one coin each. I... That's a really cool item, but I just... I feel like whatever we would get wouldn't be better than brimstone. Well, brimstone. Am I am I crazy for thinking that? I, I feel like it's here's the situation where where what I just did could be a bad idea. If the pretty flies can be converted into deal with it, it doesn't look like it on the wiki. It doesn't say anything about that. But if we could get three deal with the uh, deal, like three deal with the devil items. Instead of the pretty fly halo, it could be worth it. But that being said, orbitals are way more important than they seem. Open your mouth and let me shoot in a low. Come on. Let's go. I don't gotta lay. Hey, yep. Open up your mouth and let me shoot inside and let me shoot inside your mouth. Everybody knows that song, right? These guys are not immune, or, uh, they are immune to my toots. They built up an immunity. Yep. Like a spouse who's been smelling, smelling the toots for years and years. It just smells like, you know, just like another day to them, you know? Oh. Get rid of these sons of guns! 
Little Brimstone is so much better than I am. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's not quite a full brimstone shot, though. You can't just walk past enemies with it. It's, dare I say, it's like a little brimstone. Go figure. Oh, we took... What was it, tears down? Tears down and then x lax No, thank you. No, thank you. Have we not? I don't think we've bombed a single tinted rock this entire run. I guarantee we missed one then. Right? There can't be no tinted rock. I mean, if the, if there's only was tinted rocks on, like, this floor, I feel like that's a logical floor to miss them on. Right? I feel like that makes sense. Are you a wizard? Not today. No, I'm not. Open up your mouth, then let me shoot inside. Got that stuck in my head now. That's that's uh not a song to keep, to keep singing when the video's over, though. Will not fare very well in public. Who? Yeah, I'm get, getting health drops just like from getting hit. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's maybe that's brittle bones. Honestly, maybe it's even like the lunch or the uh, like the weird toast thing. I wouldn't be shocked. Glass shard, maybe even. Let's let's look up brittle bones. Let's learn. Every time you lose a bone heart, lots of bones fire in all directions, and you gain a permanent 0.5 tears up. Well, here's the thing. That's a pretty good sign because I've never lost one, suckers. On to the next. So it doesn't look like there's anything else to it. For Lost and Keeper, this is just a permanent tears up. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't really matter. Does not apply to us. Puberty. Puberty. About time. Ooh, boy. I don't remember what that one is, so we will just bomb it out. Bad trip. We will hold on to it, but in the event that it becomes a full health pill, we will be at one heart container. One full heart, like one possible heart container because the way the bone hearts work so I think like at that point we're just screwed so but we'll keep it because who knows maybe something will change deja vu no deja nu open up your mouth and <laughs> God, what a day, what a lovely day. Don't know what to do here, so I will just uh, do a little toot there. They just, sometimes they're bouncing, it's like a little, a little unpredictable for me as a non-veteran billiards player. Oh, I cannot predict the bouncing. Okay, I'll take it. I prefer not to be teleported in the center of the room. Thank you very much. You know what? Let's cheese our... Cheese a brimstone, man. Oh. Cheese a brimstone, man. I feel good about this. I feel skillful. <laughs> not, not cheesy one bit. Okay. I think we're going the right way. I, that's, I pulled that out of my bottom. There's no way to really tell, is there? In Isaac, in Gungeon, there is like a, there's a rhyme and reason to the patterns. 
of the floors and I don't know if it's I don't know if there's as easy of a way to tell here like I feel like we could have totally just Boneheart cheesed up that and gotten a lot of damage but here's the thing I'm not really worried oh I'm worried now I'm not really worried about the uh, the fight here I think we're gonna be just fine we have this red heart sitting on the ground now too Got three pretty flies and a cube of meat. Put this tune to a funky beat. Oh! God, I love my orbitals. They make it so that I can turn off my brain. Implying it's on. We take this. Hey! Hold up, Pretty Fly has no value. Pretty Fly has a max cap of three, and I believe it just, yeah, gets deleted. The third one got deleted when I got the cube of meat. So yeah, we're going to the Angel, even though we have not beat the Dark Room as Sam Sound. So I want to get the Polaroid, because... Let me tell you, the chest is way cooler than the Dark Room, in my opinion. So I want to get that unlocked. And to do that, we need the Polaroid. And to do that, we need to beat this son of a gun six times? Five times? Six times? Whoop. 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 Sounds like a Transformer. Whoop. Whoop. Decepticon. I can see forever. Yeah, I think Little Brimstone is carrying me a lot more than I was willing to admit. And I think that that's uh, hilarious that we were just about to pass him up. Oh, don't know what you got till you got it. Is that the phrase? <laughs> Counterfeit coin. Right? Wait, no. Something, something coin. Ooh. Something to do with the shop, I believe. Pay to win. Honestly, like, whatever it is, sure. I'll just take it at this point. I don't think we're going to get a ton of value from unlocking stuff no more. It's not going to be a whole lot of guaranteed locks anymore. Did it for the damage. Did it for the damage. Maybe we do need that locket. Oh, you know what? It does give us full hearts instead of half hearts, too. So maybe that. What does pay to win do? Let's look it up. I have a feeling it's not valuable anymore either. Yeah, restock boxes always spawn in item rooms. That's not. Ah, Gonna be any more valuable than this will be. This will be way, way more valuable, even if it's. Even if it only helps us once, it's going to be more valuable than that. I see you. We did it. We got a tinted rock and its keys. I like this locket, though. I'm, I'm definitely going to value it pretty highly moving forward. For runs where you have a lot of a lot of red heart containers. It could really make or break a run. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Thank you. Hit. Hey. Brimstone beam, super. Handy for this. Also, we have chocolate milk. <laughs> Just. Just also, we are here. Huh. Constantly upstaged by the younger, more successful brother. We were supposed to be, we were supposed to be the role model. That's a lot of hearts. On the floor here. Oh, that, 
was a nightmare. Nope. Going the right way. Gemini! Huh. 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 When we get the full blast with our chocolate milk, though, we are, you know what? We are helping. <laughs> Go figure. Uh-oh. What the? Puzzle? It's a good thing I didn't have to think about it. Alrighty, then. Go. Oh. This is a frustrating room. Greed's just annoying because he got a lot of health. Ugh. If you don't have them on generally the same side of the room, they're super annoying. He's normally, like, not bad, though. Uh, Thank you, Orbitals. Ah, yes, the steam sale. The most valuable of goods. Eternal Heart, probably not going to be that valuable either, unless we get another one. Uh, not going to happen. So our run is over at the cathedral now. Whoop. Should we just believe in our orbitals? So we don't have to worry about our brimstone not hitting? Here's the thing, we could just... It doesn't matter. Like, we could just stand... I think we out DPS him at this point. Compared to how many hearts we have. I don't think it will really matter what we do as long as we're firing at him. Ah. Okay. Easy money. This boss is really like... I find it easier than a lot of... Uh, at least considering where he is in the game. Like what kind of items you probably have by this point. And maybe even with... Without them. I consider him to be one of the easier bosses. It just his pattern is really predictable. Okay, this part is a little annoying. But his yeah, his pattern is just It's super predictable and there's super clear places to stand. Anyway, that's that. We beat the uh, Cathedral of Samson. What did we get? Bloody last. The Polaroid! Yay! Yeah! Super special rocks appear in the basement. Aren't those the ones that... Are those the ones that give us, um... Like, small rock and stuff? Could we not get those until now? Hot diggity-doo! Well, the game opened up a little bit more to us. Now we can... Effectively... Did we... We unlocked the void, too, didn't we? So we effectively can get to every single ending now. The game is has vastly opened up to us, and in fact, we can, we could unlock, we can unlock Apollyon anyways. That's uh, we have to beat Mega Satan. Uh, what else? We have, we need to unlock the Lost. And that's it, right? Those, that's all the characters. I'll have to, I'll have to look, I guess, but I'm pretty sure it's just Apollyon and the, and then the Lost. Uh, Polyon's really cool. I have, I'll definitely be making an attempt to get him. We'll probably do... We'll probably do another episode away from challenges. And we'll, My guess is we're going to do a Polaroid run with an emphasis on Angel Room deals so that we can fight Mega Satan. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll spoil what you leave on the series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.